Yo, before I start, I really want to give a shout out to the Asian Mai, the Trucker News, or the Mother Trucker News, man. This dude be pumping them out. I mean, he's like, uh, 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 uh. You know what I'm saying? The voice of the trucking community, I got to give it to him with over 300,000 subscribers. Last time I said it was 300. My bad, bruh. My bad. Over 300 thousand subscribers on youtube he's also heavy on tiktok and instagram if you guys haven't subscribed to this man i don't know what y'all missing i don't know what y'all missing you if you're a trucker all right first thing first subscribe to me lockout men podcast because we had the best conversations we break truckers we break companies uh, we react to everything, you know, rebuttal, react, all that good stuff, man. That's what we're doing. And then after you subscribe to me, I want you to hop on over to Asian Mind. Make sure you subscribe to him because he he be bringing it. He's like, that's that's what he's like. He's on it. He's on it. Got to give it to him. Got, got to give it to him for keeping up with the trucker news, you know. So everything that we need to know about what's going on in trucking from FMCSA to, like, the BS, my man Asian, my, he's, he's like that. After you subscribe to him, if you want your fits in trucker comedy, like, like, Howard Stern, like Howard Stern style type shit, I want you to go and subscribe to my guy, guilty 718 where he has the bullpen therapy on saturdays now it's not every saturday because you know he's a truck driver and he do gotta work but when you subscribe to him make sure you hit that bell well make sure you hit that bell for all of us all right so you'll know when we be posting videos on the daily all right yo welcome back to the lockout man podcast show thank you very much for being here i really do appreciate it if you guys like what we do over here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe button and that bell so that you can get notified and it shows support for the channel in this same day we're breaking truckers today now thanks to asian my i was able to come across this article about this young man being swayed at this this bs trucking school today we're breaking edward sharpio shapio shapiro shapiro sorry bro always mess up the names over here edward shapiro check it out man this guy went to a trucking school and he thought he was going to get you know the good training that he need to get his class a license he paid $5,250. That's about, that's about the roundabout amount of money that I paid for my uh, CDL. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, yeah. So he wanted to get his Class A license, all right? Edward Shapiro said a bit percentage is the booklet that they provide, the, the, the time in the class, the time on the skill pad and the driving time. Pretty much you that's that's what you're paying for. And then you paying for, or you also pay for to go and take the main test so you can get your CDL. All right. Now, unfortunately, for for Edward, he ended up doing everything right, right? He, you know, he did the skills pad. He he got the hours in. Now it's time to go out on the road and, you know, get some, uh, get some driving in. Unfortunately, he ended up with an awful instructor. Hold on. He paid to get a license to drive a tractor trailer. One problem. The instructor kept falling asleep while they were on the road. So he taped it. And what happened next is why the student called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. There is something about being behind the wheel of a tractor trailer, says Edward Shaparo. He's in peace, tranquility, and then, yeah, he's just by yourself doing your job. I like it. Edward drove a tow truck for a living, but his goal 
heading out in an 18-wheeler. It was my dream to do cross country later on, go on my own, buy my own truck. And so he signed up at a trucking school, paid $5,250, and went to work to get his Class A license. A big percentage is a booklet they provide you with, and you gotta basically learn the whole five pages. At school, the drivers learned how to park, move around cones, and then they got to take the big rig out on the road with an instructor. Meet Edwards' instructor. And then next thing, I, you know, I look to my right and I see him sleeping. I'm like, hey, you okay? Got to worry. Yep. Instead of instructions to improve his driving, Edward says the four times he drove with the teacher, he got snoozing. Yeah, the, just he slept all the time that I will be on the road. Uh, he'll be sleeping. When Edward took the test to get his trucker's license, he failed. He blamed the lack of instructions from his sleeping teacher. So before he had to pay to take another test, he headed to the office. I took a video and I went up to the bosses, the owners, and I showed them the video. They got, they got mad at me. They said I was supposed to make that video. The next day, Edward was back at school, where he says his sleepy teacher met him in the parking lot. You can imagine he was not happy. I was just, I was staying away, trying to stay away from the guy. He kept on putting his hands on me. After the confrontation, the instructor was fired, but Edward was kicked out of the school and told he was not getting his $5,250 back. This can't be happening to me. It's like a nightmare. Like, is this really happening to me? Like, Didn't get his trucker's license, didn't get his money back, and now can't afford to go to another school. I cried because I have a baby and I have to provide for her. Well, Howard, Edward was kicked out of school. Can they refuse to return his money? Legally, this is tricky. On the one hand, Edward should not have been videotaping while driving a tractor trailer. On the other hand, the teacher should have been supervising and not sleeping. But a judge will probably side with Edward and conclude it's a breach of contract and they owe him the money to finish at another school. We spoke to the owner of the driving school. He said Edward should have never videotaped the instructor, but should have told us because we have cameras on the trucks. But he added that's not why he was expelled. We decided to dismiss Edward and the instructor because they got into an argument, almost an altercation, and we don't allow that. The owner added, we do not give refunds, but we'll return $800 to Edward so he can take the driving test at another school. Yeah, I got a check from him for $800. Edward enrolled in another school, passed the driving test, got his Class A license, and is now looking for a job driving an 18-wheeler. Man, you see that garbage right there? I mean, the man is sleeping, like sleeping, like whole that's what he's doing. Whole snoring. You know, I like that. You know, I if, if that was me, I would have been like, yo, bro, bro, bro. Like, really, man? Like, you're sleeping while you supposed to be training me. Is this what I'm paying for? This is what I'm paying for. So, of course, you guys see what Edward did. He brought out, you know, he broke out his phone and he recorded it. He took that he took that information back to the school to show them that, hey, this trainer wasn't doing what he's supposed to do, but he get kicked out instead. Y'all see that? How are you going to kick this man out? Then not only kick this man out of school, but not refund him his money. Like you guys kicked him out. What you doing? So of course you guys seen in the video that they they uh they went to the school and they was like, yo, bro, why you didn't give this man's money back? Why why you ain't giving him his money back? Oh, we ain't giving him his money back because he shouldn't have been videotaping. Then it would have been if he hadn't have videotaped the instructor, then it would have been the instructor's words against his words. And nine times out of ten, y'all would have went with the instructor. Think about it. If he didn't have video evidence, they would have went with the instructor saying that, oh, well, I was doing this. He don't know what he was doing. He just flunked. He just flunked because he ain't know what he was doing. You didn't train him. You didn't teach him. You ain't do none of that. And y'all going to get mad because, you know, he wasn't supposed to. He wasn't supposed to be recording while he was driving. But he needed to get that little bit of snippet. It wasn't like that he was recording all you know all you know all throughout the driving thing he had to get that little snippet so when he went to you guys 
to tell them, hey, this dude wasn't doing his job. I got proof. But no, on the flip side of that, they said that, well, we – we 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 terminated both of them because it was an altercation. Your boy came in my face. So what do you guys think? What, what, let me know what you guys think because you know what the lawyer said that the judge will side with Edward because he did have to prove it was a breach of contract because you know they felt some kind of way and they didn't give this man his money back. So what do you guys think about that? But at the end of it all, you know, at the end of it all, it was a silver lining at the end of the video. He did manage to get his CDL. Uh, he did manage to get his CDLA. Um, unfortunately, the BS company cut him an $800 check. Like, bro, that's a slap in the face. But it is what it is. He took it, went to the other school, passed got his CDLs, now he's on his way to, you know, change his life and everything. Hopefully he'll find, hopefully, hopefully he'll find a good trucking company because they have BS trainers too. So hopefully you don't have to run into that problem anymore. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Shout out to my man, Asian My for the, uh, for the video and everything. Yo, we breaking truckers over here. Let me know who you guys want me to break next. Let me know in the comments below or send your videos to lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the, for the next Lockout Man podcast coming soon. <laughs>